by the passenger cars level as well. I.e., every single individual who lives in Sheffield and travel into Sheffield, etc., and the neighboring uh, neighborhood society. So everybody needs uh, to play a significant uh, responsibility and role. So by driving more fuel efficient, lighter weight vehicle, we will be able to reduce this. But how could we achieve this? I mean, we know about the development of hybrid vehicle, which are not widely adopted yet. Uh, we know the development of electric car, GVs, and you know a lot of new initiative done by Toyota uh, and uh, to, uh, uh, Honda in order to develop electric vehicle. Again, you know this needs a little bit more uh, encouragement. And the same uh, uh, thinking apply to uh, finding alternative source of energy or fuel to power the car. For example, hydrogen uh, could be something that uh, could be considered and included in the landscape because hydrogen is, is a clean fuel. <coughs> Uh, another area that we uh, can consider is promoting eco-driving. Uh, it is sometimes about behavior of driver. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the car here, and you know, too much of acceleration, or not knowing actually what is the impact of our initial, uh, our own initiative, will have an, a, a, a direct consequence on the energy consumption and CO two emission uh, from the vehicle. So there are uh, a couple of things that uh, we can consider by widening uh, the. Uh, ex not acknowledgement, but uh, uh, awareness of the behavior of, uh, of drivers. Uh, there are a couple of uh, examples uh, here. For example, you know, uh, promoting eco-driving by accelerating more gently when we drive, maintain a steady speed, slow down by taking your foot off the accelerator, uh, don't let your engine run idle, etc., etc. There are a lot of tips and hints exist already. We are not trying to reinvent the wheel. There are these things that exist already. It is a matter of um, uh, increasing the awareness at every level uh, as part of the society. <coughs> Another one that is quite interesting is to improve the traffic flow to allow the vehicles to actually increase their speed so we are not actually stuck in any congestion and traffic jam. So you know that will actually help to reduce our fuel uh, consumption and improve our fuel efficiency and reducing our pollution to the environment. So that will link into town and regional planning on how the road system should be designed and integrated to our public uh, transport services, etc., in order to allow this uh, to be achieved in a much more efficient uh, way. Denmark. Nordic, uh, Nordic uh, best practices is always uh, something that's quite uh, interesting uh, to, to, to look at. And uh, what they have done in Denmark is uh, they have adopted this electric cars uh, investment, actually strongly backed by their government into research and also promoting uh, use of hydrogen and electric power cars, uh, which will be exempt from tax until 2012. This is an initiative that could be uh, uh, think about in order to, you know, widen uh, how this could be adopted uh, for, for the city. Changes the idea of owning a car, leasing and sharing model could be a way forward. We know about this car sharing model that some organizations are practicing. Uh, but maybe another way to look at it is to lease car. I think we have a leasing organization there. But oh, you know, it's almost like finding a way whereby community, you know, community-led initiative, where community can set up their own initiative on le leasing car potential, whereby they do not need to really, not, not every single household need to buy a car. Uh, it may have an impact on the economy, etc. But obviously, we need to think about all of these uh, issues. Uh, we would like to have, you know, a, a, a solution and an intervention that will uh, promote economic development as well as job creation, but at the same time reducing our CO2 as well. Use of bike, huge. Uh, there are plenty of bike lanes available now, and increasingly more uh, in the city, which is very, very encouraging. But using bike is also very important. It's how individual organizations encourage their employee, for example, to use bike from A to B. Uh, uh, and another issue is uh, whether we can design uh, availability of bikes or even electric bikes to be nearby every single tram station or train station, so that when we jump off the tram or jump off the train, we can actually connect our journey very easily, very conveniently from, <coughs> from B to C. Okay. So that's something that you know, we may want to consider. And again, this technology exists already. It is a matter of how you know, we can consider uh, including this as part of our transport uh, planning uh, for Sheffield uh, City. Uh, again, uh, as part of the initiative to improve uh, the link of uh, uh, the provision of public transport services uh, provided by uh, the public as well as uh, providing convenience and connectivity to uh, every users uh, in the city.
and also outside the city. When people outside Sheffield, they come to visit Sheffield, they will see this is part of the interconnectivity. They will pro uh, it will also promote the use of train <coughs> more uh, rigorously, uh, reducing the amount of, 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 of driving. Another quite interesting measure is actually uh, investigated, uh, investigated by the government is to look at alternative fuels for buses, eco driving certification scheme, etc. And we talk about this uh, already. And this is a uh, similar initiative uh, actually uh, exercised mm -hmm. by uh, the Japan uh, best practice case. Another one that I would like to emphasize is Germany. Germany is a world leader in the area of uh, renewable energy, uh, including by renewable energy <coughs> in photovoltaic. So let's look at, uh, zoom in and look at uh, Freiburg. My German is not very good, <laughs> though I, I can speak Chinese and English and other languages, but my German is not very good. But Freiburg is a very, very uh, interesting example to really look at how Germany take uh, the eco uh, uh, initiative. So over the last 10 years, they managed to reduce the CO2 uh, by more than 10% per capita and by 100% <coughs> increase in their public transport use. So they have a, a, a lot of uh, very, very efficient uh, measures that are already implemented successfully by uh, the city. And uh, another achievement is up to 35% of their residents actually choosing to live without a car. Again, you know, we need to really think about this, uh, how this can be adapted uh, to our own uh, uh, context. They have also designed car free town center uh, with a limited, uh, 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 for example, 30 uh, kilometers per hour. Uh, low cost uh, flat rate monthly environmental ticket for the region wide bus services. Again, this will help promote uh, every users to actually use bus services uh, more uh, for, uh, for the environment uh, environmental ticket initiative. And if we look at this and how to link uh, our action to cost and our living expenses, no car actually, you know, uh, directly linked to lower cost of housing. Uh, so there is uh, uh, some connection uh, uh, there. And uh, we, we're reducing of a model uh, vehicle use and uh, increasing uh, bike uh, use. And I have more information actually on this as a case study, which I can share with you later on and during the Q&A session and also during the, uh, the, uh, the workshop. Because of time, so I can't actually go into too much uh, detail uh, uh, on this. So really summing up the ideas that we can think about and consider for Sheffield is really, uh, these are just some examples. I'm not saying that this is sort of a prescriptive solution, uh, but you know, we can consider widening uh, the tram uh, network, uh, in designing an integrated transport network that will link the public transport to the use of bike, for example, you know, linking the journey from the tram and train station uh, <coughs> forward. Uh, looking at bike hire facilities so that we can just put a, the, 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 the uh, point in and then we can just you know, drive off with, 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 with the uh, bike and, uh, uh, and uh, returning uh, at nearby station. A uh, hydrogen car is another alternative field and very innovative technology that uh, actually complements very well with electric power uh, vehicle, something that we may want to consider as well as part of the integrated options. And another thing that I would like to mention is also the issues of uh, uh, heavy goods vehicle because obviously the big lorries and stuff like that that will deliver a lot of goods into you know, the key industrial estate, etc. We need to think about how do we ensure uh, that um, a delivery can be designed in an optimized way. For example, we can design an integrated supply chain uh, whereby uh, certain key location we have uh, 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 concentrated uh, distribution uh, warehouse, whereby then goods drop there and then get delivered to the individual uh, uh, address within the, the, the city region that will help reducing the congestion uh, and also the CO2 emission uh, into the city region de uh, depending on how it is being measured. So that is something that we can uh, 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 consider. Uh, advanced planning for connectivity between Sheffield and other surrounding uh, towns because this is very important. If we look at the current tram system, it only is connects up to a certain point. We have not actually uh, uh, you know, maximized the full potential in connecting to other places uh, in the city and potentially outside the city as well in the nearby region. So we, we may want to consider that uh, uh, option. Uh, preferential uh, taxation for low carbon uh, uh, cars, which is very important in order to encourage more buy-in uh, from people who will adopt these alternative fuel uh, vehicles. 
And something that's quite in interesting is, is empowering the uh, communities to take initiative. Uh, I think the communities that initiative is quite important in the sense that uh, if they, they know about the, 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 the city and their communities very well. They know about the school that exists in the region that the community is very well. So it's, again, uh, it's, you know, it's uh, empowering the communities to come up with some interesting uh, idea that will work practically that can be delivered at the community uh, uh, level. So that's something that we may want to you know, consider uh, uh, f further as part of this uh, transport um, uh, strategy uh, for Sheffield. Okay. So I'll be around. So if you have any questions, please just uh, uh, ask, and uh, I'll be around as part of the panel and also as part of the Q&A workshop. Also indeed now. So yeah, even, even now. Yeah. So that was so um, fantastically concise.